the prediction uh, went well. Uh, we have um, – <laughs> I promise I'm not going to end the stream like this next time, okay? I promise this won't happen because we did this last time too. But God damn it, dude. But God damn it. It just came out and he's real mad. Yep, it's 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 your boy again. It's Dave's cooking show. And uh, it, like I, I feel like some streams sometimes, I unless they have a poorly lit, this is literally the best. This isn't a transitional piece. This is the lighting that he chose for this. Yep. Yep, bonus, bonus Dave's cooking show. He's really mad at Mario Batali's Italian burger, and he's going to make it better or something. <laughs> uh, yeah, I don't know. So this is this is the lighting that we're we're offered. Here we go. So he's gonna make some sort of burger. This was this was sent to me. Singing Reaper's been talking about this. So uh, and uh, and and uh, I we're not gonna do any Dave for the rest of the week. That's a fact. No Dave for the rest of the week. Uh, too much Dave, but, um, it has been funny, so, so, uh, I figured we'd finish up with one last one for the week. Double Dave, hell yeah, see, you're excited. Uh, yeah, we're not gonna do any Dave, and I, and if I do him next week, I'd be very, very surprised. Um, but it might come up if he take, if he has any, like, terrible takes. But, we'll finish up, uh, uh, today's Friday stream with a little bit of the good stuff from old Dave. <laughs> Okay, um, this is my take. On okay, ooh, ooh, ooh. I think we should do a poll, though. I think we should do a poll. Make it a quick one. I think the poll should probably be, is he going to make a gross sex joke? Is he going to make a gross sex joke? That's a pretty good bet, in my opinion. I think you should take that bet, but, uh... Uh, can we start another... Can we start another poll? One more thing to do with channel points... Is he going to make? Can you set the odds, by the way, like the what you get back? Is it only two to one? It shouldn't be more than two to one if we can help. I have 309k channel points. Holy gosh, Jesus Christ! <laughs> While you get that up, I'm going to scratch my back and make ooh noises. Are you ready? Are you ready? I'm going to scratch. Oh yeah, here it comes. Oh, oh. Oh, you should put subs on the line. You put subs on the line. Oh, my goodness gracious. Uh, yes. Yes. Feels very nice. Feels very nice. Why is my hair doing that? By the way, we're going purple soon. Purple hair soon, bros. Can you set odds? I don't know. Ah. Uh. Easiest bet I ever made. Will Dave make a bad sex joke or a gross sex joke? A gross joke. Ooh, it's just a gross joke. Even better. That's a good... You should take that bet. The no should win like 7 to 1 if the, if he doesn't do it. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, purple. We're going to do some purple. Uh, we've done it before. It looked really good. So we're going to do it again. Uh, the odds are based on the bets. Oh, okay. So the odds are based on the bets. Interesting. Interesting. I like that. I like that. That's fascinating. Okay. I can't really see what you guys see when it comes to this kind of thing. Yeah, I can't. I can't. Can't see the odds on there. Uh, never tell me the odds. So, uh, now that we've gambled, let's head into, uh, Dave's Mario Batali burger. Let's see what he's got. Ah, oh, look at that lighting. It's just so bad. Like, even without the shades, it's just like, it's just like gray. <laughs> oh, you can't have the word sex in it? Okay. On uh, Mario Batali's Italian cheeseburger or Italian burger. Okay. Needless to say, I watched it and wasn't impressed. All right. Okay, so are you finally yeah. done bastardizing oh. burgers? Yeah. Jesus, you've added olive oil every yeah. single chance you got, and now you haven't even made a proper Juicy Lucy. Burger. So he's going to make a Juicy Lucy. A Juicy Lucy is a, a burger with cheese inside of it, kind of. With the cheese is supposed to explode out of the burger mustard. once you've made it. We watched this video on stream, and it was fine. With a little bit of extra virgin olive oil. Not whatever this is. I, 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 would, I would consume this. It looks pretty tasty. I'm not going to be. I'm not going to lie to you. 
Not a real big fan of Mario Batali as a person, but goddamn, that looks pretty okay. I don't know what you've made, what but it's a pile of shit! Okay. Okay. So, the first thing we do is, is we make two... Just right on the counter. Fucking plop that shit right on the countertop. Th pick up all the little crumblies that you leave on your countertop. Three Hell ounce yeah. Italian sausage patties. Because so that's what he basically turned his ground pork into anyway. Italian sausage. Italian okay. sausage. All right. So you take um, the deli-style mozzarella cheese, not the fresh crap. <laughs> the fresh crap. Not fresh mozzarella. Okay. I guess we don't like fresh food for some reason. All right. That it looks so himself. juicy. His hands are so glistening. No, I don't give a fuck how many restaurants the goddamn guy has. Don't care. Don't bother bringing it up. Then don't bother bringing it up. Want to take the but he when, when when he was yelling at me yesterday on stream for being a competent cook, he said that he's going to listen to Gordon Ramsay, who has a bunch of uh, and like Bobby Flay or whoever. They have a bunch of restaurants, so you're invalid, and you're wrong. It's like. Mm patties and you re carnists are disgusting go vegan sorry really wet one sorry buddy uh don't say carnists <laughs> uh not really interested not really interested in, in your bullshit tonight <laughs> vegans are correct most vegans apparently or a lot of vegans are really bad at fucking having that discussion <laughs> god it's just not effective. Don't do that. You're hurting your own cause. I had a whole thing about this the other day. It's really fucking stupid. Please stop doing that shit. Really want to press the edges together so the two patties become one. Then on a pan over medium heat, let's start cooking our burger. You can do this with a Beyond Burger too, bro. <laughs> like, okay, so here Chill we out. got one of our patties in our pan. I did. Add Would you prefer blood mouth? <laughs> Jesus Christ, dude. Fuck out of here. <laughs> Fuck you. <laughs> oh, fuck. I got called a fucking... Uh, uh, oh, I got called a blood mouth. You're right. I guess I'm only going to eat veggies from now on. Or, hey, personally, I think plant-based is a really good and ethical way to live your life. And if you can afford it, and if you're if you're happy with it, and if you don't have any eating disorders that go against it, it's probably a really good option. So go plant based if you'd like to. There you go. I win. I just made more people vegan or plant based than you ever have by being just a, a dumb piece of shit. <laughs> like, <laughs> like, don't be a dumb piece of shit. <laughs> Beyond Meat's really good. I agree. Uh, and I really like veggies. I might actually be, uh, I might actually be, uh, uh plant-based later. I was thinking about going through some veggies tonight and making a little, nice little dinner. I don't know. Um, but anyway, uh, <laughs> uh, Jake argued best for veganism in seconds than I've heard in 30 years. That's really all it takes. It's really all it takes. There's lots of, there's lots of really great things to do. If you want to go plant-based for ethical or dietary reasons, there's lots of really great options nowadays. Um, yeah, it's, it's, it's a viable option. <laughs> it's definitely more ethical for sure. And then if you are, a, if you, if you do happen to eat meat, if you are omnivorous, um, uh, just consider where your food comes from and try to make an ethical choice if you can, if you're able to. That's it. Moving on. Fucking blood mouth. I will, I will literally fucking, I will, I will eat a baby right now. Add uh, a little bit of peanut oil to the pan. If you can't have peanut oil for one reason or another, allergies or whatever, uh, just use uh, grapeseed oil. So it's a great, uh, great oil. And then you just want to fry these up. The only seasoning I added extra was a little bit. I wouldn't actually, I, I don't think you really need oil in this. Uh, sausage, particularly pork, uh, Italian sausage, uh, you can see the fat in it, and the fat will render out. As long as you allow this to cook, uh, and 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 cook out, that should be fine. I don't really want to, I don't really want to add more to that. You can finish it with some, though. 
I wouldn't want to like fry them like that. Though. Like I don't like to do that with beef either because it just gets it's too it's too much it's too much fatty stuff. A bit of salt and of course freshly like, ground. It comes with its own fat. I don't know why pepper. I don't know why people do that. And that's it. All right, let's cook these patties. Sausage is already so salty and oily. And is fr I know. Yeah, it doesn't make sense. Okay, our burgers are really... coming along nicely. Just you remember... can do it. It just doesn't really. I don't know. While you're cooking them, to keep the lid on the pan, you need the steam for the cheese. Okie dokie. That's it. Got our nicely okay. toasted bun. And wait, wait. I thought he was gonna make one that was comparable to the one we just saw. Uh, I just added another slice of that mozzarella cheese I bought. Okay. And remember, this would be way better with fresh mozzarella, though. Let's be real. And you should broil that. Just tossing that out there. If you if you took fresh mozzarella, right, and you you sort of crumbled it on top or peeled it apart, and then you took that and you put that, you pop that into the broiler for just a second to get that nice and melty, and then you pop that back out, and then you took uh, 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 fresh basil and put it on either during the broiling process or right after, that'd be delicious too. Always. You could fry some basil and some of that in, in, in the in the sausage grease as well. Um, fried basil is super delicious. Take that out, pat it down with a paper towel and crumble it up and then sprinkle it on stuff. You, I'm telling you. Toast your buns. If you don't toast your buns, you're a fucking loser and everyone will know you're a fucking loser. What is that? Then you want to add some marinara sauce to the top bun. Okay, so he's doing marinara sauce instead of the... Uh, uh, Mario Batali, when we watched it, he made a uh, he made an acorn squash mustard, which looked pretty good. And that's it. That's 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 my Italian burger. That's terrible. What? That's fucking terrible. No. <laughs> we can make this better with like no extra money. What are you doing, dude? Oh come on, bro. Oh my god. Italian sausage. Mozzarella cheese. No sex joke yet. We still got a, uh, a little bit of time. Marinara. Okay. But wait, here's the big difference. When you cut into my goddamn Italian Juicy Lucy, watch what happens. Well, well first, make, well, make, watch what happens. I'm incapable. Make sure you cut through. Is the that a fillet knife? Bun. It is. He's using a fillet knife for that. That's fine, I guess. But that's weird. Weird choice. You see how the cheese is kind of oozing out there? Sure. You see that? Yeah, That's dude. what you're looking for. All right. I, I There's no textural difference in this, though. This is going to be a mush burger, like everything this guy eats, just mush. I'm surprised he's not making like a like a, a disgusting joke about this right now, but we'll see. We, we got we have 19 seconds left. There's time for him to rally in and and the pro the the affirmative on the on the sex jokers betters in chat uh, uh you might get a win here in the last seconds that's the difference so that's my version of mario batali's italian burger done see mario you want the cheese to ooze out you want it to be melted inside the damn burger okay so um all right, I'm going to tell you how to do this in a way that is palatable and not just gooey, okay? If you want to use pork sausage like that, that's totally fine, okay? Totally fine to use pork sausage like that if you'd like to. There are also vegan options that you could do that make this totally fine. Um, yeah, there, there, there wasn't a single gross joke in that. He was just gross in general. Um, so the way that I would do this in... Um, I'm going to use pork sausage in this scenario, but if you didn't want to, if you want to use like Beyond Burger, they also have pork substitutes. Um, all you got to do is make sure you have some fresh sage, and uh, I would probably say some fresh parsley, some onion uh, or onion powder, some garlic. Norman Jesus. Um, Mikey, thanks for the raid, buddy. And um, so if, if you have these things, take sage, take parsley, take some onion or onion powder, take some garlic, minced garlic. Mix that in with, with that really well and let it sit uh, so it binds together. Um, you can use, uh, what, what's a good vegan binder in your opinions, guys? Just egg is probably one of them you could use. Use mung bean, um, um, which is fine. Garlic salt is, is, is fine if you want to. Fresh garlic for the flavor right now. Uh, sure, flaxseed, chia seeds, sure, whatever. Whatever's a good binder. Um, absolutely. Uh, cheddar cheese crisps, yes or no? I love cheddar cheese. Okra? 
uh, I wouldn't use that. Flax is probably a good uh, deal. Nooch, nooch yeast, uh, yeah, um, that's fine too. Um, you could potatoes, no, um, unless you wanted to dip it in in flour of some kind. If you want to dip it in flour and fry it up, that'd be cool too. You could, uh, I don't know, just some way to bind it. Again, I would use Just Egg. It's a very good uh, egg substitute for vegans. Um, I have some in my fridge. Um, I also have regular eggs in my fridge. Uh oh, blood mouth. So. <laughs> Um, so take, take whatever your patty's going to be, whether it's that sausage or something you made yourself, uh, that's vegan or, or whatever you got going on. Um, uh, Antipodian Squid, thanks so much for the tier three, my friend. Appreciate you. For 14 months, so many months. Absolutely. Um, do take fresh mozzarella, please, for the love of God and me. Use fresh, fresh mozzarella, love yourself. Pinch them together. If it's something vegan, again, it's not going to have a lot of fat to it. Um, you're going to want to let that sit together, uh, uh, pinch together, probably with some weight on it. Um, two plates is a really good idea. Uh, if they stack together, uh, uh, that was actually good advice that Dave gave at one point on this show. Um, any way to keep some pressure on it and just to, to press it together. I would also do that with, with, with something that's like lean beef. If you don't want to uh, do sausage or something like that, like a lean cut where it has like 5% fat or less, um, uh in a, in a burger uh, you're gonna want something to bind it in that case if you're not ve if you're not vegan then you can just use an egg and breadcrumbs to bind it and beef is just fine but if you want to go uh, a little bit extra step here a little bit extra step and um again uh if you are using a non-fatty meat uh you can do oil you could do um if you're not vegan, you could do lard, which would be is a really fantastic flavor and actually better for you than butter, um, calorically and just in general. Um, uh, a little bit of lard in the bottom is going to increase the flavor exponentially. It's going to be really good. Um, if you need something vegan, uh, uh, I love my my coconut oil. Avocado oil is very good. Um, obviously, any of the vegetable oils in general um, or, or olive oil or anything like that, rapeseed, grapeseed. It works. Peanut oil is fine. Uh, peanut oil tastes really good, of course. Um, so I would add fat in that situation. Vegan butter butter would be fine for these kinds of things if you're vegan. If not, and it just is a high fat content, don't put anything in there. Please, for the love of God, don't put anything in there. It's going to render out. Do it. Do it sort of medium, medium, and and nice and slow. Because it, especially if you're using pork, you want that to cook through. Because pork holds on to bacteria way more than like a burger does. Um, uh, and, and, and it has a higher, you need to get to 165 rather than 155 for the interior temperature for it to uh, uh, cook out. So uh, after you do that, while that's cooking, um, the, uh, take, those, take those burgers out, let them rest for a second, and then take, uh, like we said, some basil, uh, chop it up, drop it in the hot fat oil that you got left over, and, and fry those puppies real quick. Strain them out, put them on the side, then take that basil, put it on top of the burger, and then on top of that, put put more mozzarella, okay? Um, it's going to have this nice this nice little crunch to it. Um, you can also use that for garnish at the end for a little texture. Um, if you want if you want to go hard, if you want to go real hard, um, you can you can instead of that mozzarella, you can also make like a fried mozzarella and put that on, which would be pretty tasty. Um, so you just take that and put it in like flour, egg wash, breadcrumb, egg wash, breadcrumb, and then you'd have like a little thick disc of mozzarella. Pop that in there and let that shallow fry for a second. You're gonna get a really fucking taste. It's like literally a mozzarella stick on the on the burger, and it would be tasty. This is not gonna be good for you. Coconut oil is good though. Um, <clears throat> paneer cheese is also is also valuable. You can do that. Paneer is fine. Um, you could use whatever cheese you want, really, but this was an Italian thing. So after you get the crispy uh, stuff on there, I would consider um, some form of vegetable. Some form of vegetable. Obviously, you could go with something like a uh, a uh, like a lettuce. That'd be totally fine. Um, I would really, I really think in this scenario. Because of what you're making, you could make a really delicious uh, mirepoix um, to kind of go with it. Um, so mirepoix is 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 carrots, celery, um, onion, sometimes garlic. I would put garlic in here, and then 
Um, and then after the mirepoix sort of gets going, you just you just sort of dice that down. Really, really dice it down, right? You can even make a pace with this shit because we're gonna make a schmear with it anyway. Get that in there. You can make a you can pop that in your um, food processor or or just mash it up yourself. However, you need to do it. Add a little tomato paste to it, and then add more of that basil to it. Um, and do that and get that on the bottom so you get that nice marinara sort of taste because you don't want it, you don't want it to be runny like marinara you want it to to smear like a tomato paste sort of and then on the top okay on the top if you don't like tomatoes don't go tomato I would go tomato here um, I would do a uh, a little bit of a pesto mayo a pesto mayo would be delicious on this okay so just pesto literally just some pesto that's Get it from the store or make it yourself. Get some mayo. Mix them together in equal parts. Not a fucking cup of it. I'm talking like like a t half a tablespoon each. Um, it would be delicious. Delicious. And then, of course, toast the bun so you get a nice little crunch to it. Um, you could also do this in a in a um, like a more of a t an Italian crusty bread, which would be even better. Um, yeah, and then. To add some texture to it, you could do slivered red onion, which would be tasty. Um, you could go real hard on the fried uh, basil if you want some more crunch to it. Uh, lots of different ways to add texture to this kind of thing. So That's the end of the Dave's Cooking Show thing, and that's the end of the stream.